Good morning to you. I hope you're having a good uh, quiet time, a good Saturday. I have Axe sketchbook in the car, so I thought I'd just share what I'm working on with Gideon. Uh, Judges 6, 7, and it came to pass, it happened. When the children of Israel cried out to the Lord because of the Midianites, help us, God, says Midianites, that the Lord sent a prophet to the children of Israel. A prophet went to give the word of God to the Israelites. Go give them a message. God sends, sends out the prophet. Who said to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up out of Europe, <laughs> out of Egypt, sorry. Out of, God brought you out of Egypt, out of toil and slavery of Egypt. So the prophet's telling the Israelites, there's a prophet over here. I, God brought the Israelites out of Egypt. Judges 6, 8. And brought you out of bond, the house of bondage. God brought us, brought us, brought you out of, brought the Israelites out of slavery. And I delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians. God brought the Israelites out of the, rescued you from the Egyptians. And out of the hand of all who oppressed you, I rescued you from your, all your oppressors. God, God speaking through the prophet to the Israelites. Judges 6, 9, and drove them out before you. The, so the Israelites, God, and the oppressors, God drove the oppressors, the enemies out, and gave you their land, the Israelites and God. You can have their land, property of the enemy given to Israelite. Thank you, God. Israelites, also I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not fear the God of gods of the Amorites. So don't fear, don't worship their gods. I thought, don't be afraid of them, but don't worship their God. Like fear the Lord, respect the Lord. Don't worship their gods. Don't respect their gods, don't fear their gods. God speaking through the prophets the prophet to the Israelites. Judges 6.10 In whose land you dwell? So, though you live in their... Do not fear the gods of the Amorites, though you live in their land. Don't worship their gods. But you have not obeyed my voice. Israelites always do this. I am the Lord your God. Do not worship the, their gods. You haven't listened to me. The prophet tells... The Israelites, or God tells the Israelites. Judges 6, 11, now the angel of the Lord came. I love drawing angels. Angels are all around us, right? And sat uh, under the terebinth tree. So a terebinth tree is like an oak tree. Circle your favorite angel. I drew a lot of angels. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So the angel came and sat under the oak tree. Judges 6, 11, which was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abiezrite. This oak belongs to Joash. Who, while his son Gideon, father and son, Joash and Gideon, the son Gideon threshed wheat in the wine press in order to hide it from the Midianites. So Gideon is separating the wheat grown from the plant and he's hiding it from the Midianites. A wine press is used to crush grapes and to make wine. So Gideon is in there hiding the wheat from the Midianites in the press, in the wine press. So I'm running out of uh, storage, so I'll talk about this later. Hope you have a good blessed day, and the angel of the Lord appeared.